All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, we got the base just about on. I'm just doing a dry fit here. These cross members I could reuse. Uh, these are from the old seat you probably saw from my video yesterday. I took these off. Um, I have them on here. One of the holes was in the perfect spot. The other one I had to drill. Uh, not a big deal, as well as the back holes I had to drill because the supports are actually back further. Um, one thing I want to make sure, I want to make sure it's not rubbing the fuel tank anywhere that's going to eventually rub a hole into it. Um, so we're going to see about tighten it down here, uh, try to find some better bolts. Uh, my bolt supply is very poor. I don't have a good supply of uh, hardware and I don't have a good supply of steel here on the farm. Uh, two things I should have. But when you consider I started, when I started I didn't even own a grease gun, um, we're getting there. So I'm going to tighten this thing down and uh, see about putting the cushions on and seeing how it's going to work. Uh, one thing, these here, uh, they have a belly in them. Um, they were mounted down, that the belly was down. Um, that would sit your seat lower. Um, I flipped them the other way so it's up uh, just because I'm so tall and have big feet. And uh, I don't like uh, scrunching down when I'm doing work. Plus, that's higher, the visibility is higher. It might be too high right now. I don't know yet. Uh, I might end up having to redo this and flip these the opposite way. Uh, I'm not sure yet. We have to assemble everything and see how everything works out so far. So, like I say, for my video yesterday, uh, I was going to try to fabricate something. I could reuse these from the old seat. So I have the base pretty well where it needs to go. And I'm going to just set this cushion on and sit on it and see kind of where, where I stand as far as the height-wise. Um, but so far, um, just had to buy the seat, reusing the old mounts and everything. Uh, one thing I will say with this seat, there are way more holes in it to uh, mount it or adjust it than the seat I got from my dealership. My dealership didn't have this many holes in. You didn't have as many options to mount your seat. Um, these two in the very front could have uh, been very handy when I mounted the seat on the 685. I had to drill these holes. They weren't there. So, so far I'm happy with this uh, brand of seat. Um, so we'll get into it here. Uh, just want to snug some things down yet and uh, see how it works out. All right, so I just set this on. I just sat on the seat. It does seem a little bit high. Um, I'll have to look at this a little bit more. Um, it's uh, not too bad, but uh, I don't know. I'll have to see. I'd like to get it in the right spot and leave it there. Uh, one of the problems with being Dutch is being tall, long arms, long legs. So I don't want it too low. So, um, just a dry fit here, but starting to see the finished product on this uh, tractor. So, let's uh, make some minor adjustments here. All right, I've got everything tightened up. I'm sitting on the seat. Uh, I have it adjusted to my weight. Um, it is a little too high. So, um, I'm going to have take two here and flip those uh, pieces of steel around. Um, plenty of... Uh, Plenty of room here, but it just feels like I'm sitting up way too high. Um, I don't know. I, sh I should wait till I get the tire and take it out and drive it and uh, maybe make some adjustments later. For today, I think I'm just going to let it on. We have a seat now. So let me get off here. It just is about, I don't know, three, four inches too high. I don't think I'll be able to lower it that much, but it's there. It's on. Uh, still kind of... These seats tend to have a little bit of play in the track, but it's uh, not major. So we've got it on, it's bolted fast, everything is on. Now, when I go to paint this tractor to get the seat out of the way for painting, now it's just a matter of taking these four bolts out and I can take the whole seat assembly right off. And if I go to adjust this to make it a little lower, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take these four bolts out, pull the seat off the tractor, um, put it on the bench, flip these the opposite way so it's down a little bit it might bring it down an inch a uh, half inch maybe so anyway it's on and uh, it's another step in trying to get this tractor up to speed like i say this is a tractor i'm going to keep and uh as far as keeping it long term i mean um even if i'm not farming here or can't farm this tractor is still good to stay if i'm living here for plowing snow um it's always good to have a loader tractor um, so like I say, this is going to stay, I want to try to make it as nice as possible. Um, this one I'm going to keep, it's not going to be a, a resale <laughs> right away. Uh, the only instance would be if I'd get something with a cab down the road. So anyway, the seat's on, it's functional again. Still waiting for the tire, um, should be done tomorrow. 
so I'll do a video on changing this tire out. Uh, it's still on up on the jack. Um, so there it is. <laughs> the seat's on. Um, good enough for today. Yeah, this is still scrunched in. When they put, put it in the box, this was packed on top of this, and it has this foam in the seat all smashed up. But I'm just going to let it alone. Uh, I can't spend all my time returning stuff that wasn't good. So it is what it is. We'll let it on. So, yeah, if it's just about an inch or two inches lower, uh, it should be pretty good for my size. So... All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, just a quick video today getting the seat on the tractor, and uh, stay tuned for more.